Tonight there's a big uh, charity event that's going on for the Gilded Club. It's at the uh, Park West. We're going to go inside and check it out. Come on! Hey, I'm here with Laura Jane Hyde from Gilda's Club. Now, you're the CEO. Now, tell me about Gilda's Club. Gilda's Club is a phenomenal community for anyone touched by cancer. Men, women, and children, family, and friends. We are the only organization of our type in the city. Everything we provide, we provide completely free of charge, and that's why nights like tonight are so important to the club. You guys have been around for a while. Now, this is all story. How's the connection with Gilda Rander? When Gilda Radner was diagnosed with cancer, she was involved in a community like Gilda's Club in California. And then she and Jean would be in their home in Connecticut, and she found it very isolating and talked about building a club so no one would have to live with cancer alone. And unfortunately, Gilda died before that dream could be a, become a reality. There are now 22 clubs open across North America with another aid in development, so her dream is very much coming alive today. And tonight, actually, because she's a, she was a, one of the funniest women of all time, yes. and tonight you actually have a fun, funny uh, event. The Second City is here. It's an auction. Tell me about it. Yep, it's great. It's our second Night of a Thousand Noogies. We've done four comedy-based events. And it's wonderful because Second City has been a great partner of the club since we opened. We have Chicago celebrities performing with Second City. Not actually performing, it's more of an interview format, so everyone feels very comfortable. Comfortable, It's very safe, but it's going to be hysterical. And Steve Dahl and Gary Meyer are being reunited, which, you know, is getting all the news, but I think everybody's going to be great. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Dahl and Gary Meyer! Yeah. <laughs> what did you just say? It's gonna be Shut on TV. Me. It's gonna be on TV. No, no. You are so <laughs> Just when we got it back together again. <laughs> Three years in case you didn't get back up here. And then <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, you're gonna get fired from the benefit. Just go ahead. I'll bring up Bob Goose on there. God damn it, we gotta get back in damage control. <laughs> Jesus effing Christ, I can't even say my own words, God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a ball in my mouth so I don't talk no more. Alright, I think that's what we should do for all our DJs. It's a beautiful idea. Put balls in all of their mouths. I got some balls for your mouth. <laughs> Gary, you're, you're back. How do you, how you enjoy being back? Uh, I love it. I'm having a great time. It's been six months, and I think the show is doing very well. Having a, I think the most fun or some of the most fun I've ever had on radio. It's a shame it's going to end after tonight, all these things that were said here. We have to bleep everything you said up there. I, well, <laughs> you know, Steve is a shock jock. You know, he just can't control it. Shock I'm shocked that he's like that. Now, uh, what, what do you know about Gilda's Club? I know that they support cancer patients and it's a place for them to go to get some kind of comfort for the family and friends of cancer patients and the cancer patients themselves and it's free and I've heard great things and I actually met Gilda back in the 70s at an event that she came in to do in Chicago with Bill Murray so I feel like wow I mean it was one of those moments where she was on that Saturday Night Live lift off in the first couple of years and then I met her and it was pretty cool yeah. when you meet somebody on a show that was that hot right. back in the 70s so. right. but she had obviously too short of a life but at least in this memory it, continues. it keeps on yeah, yeah. It brings good things yeah. I'm here with Tim Kazarinski now Tim yeah. this is a big time auction I mean because first of all it's uh, for Gilda's Club you know yes I love Gilda yeah. I'm, I'm old enough to know Gilda and remember Gilda and had dinner with Gilda and She's the real deal. She was the best. All right, I'm here with Amanda Fox. Uh, tell me, what do you, uh, you you know about Gilda's Club, of course? Yeah, my mom. It's so funny. My mom actually moved here from New York a few months ago, and she volunteers there. So she's all about Gilda's Club. And when they asked me to do this, it just meant so much more because my mom was so, you know, into being a, a volunteer. Well, tell me what you, to, through your experience with her, tell me a little bit about it. Well, she, um, we actually, one of our friends was just diagnosed with cancer, so this came in a really, you know, good time in our lives but um, she, she loves the way that the club supports people who either have cancer or have family members or friends that have cancer and it's a great facility I took a whole tour and spent some time there but they have libraries for kids and seminars and yoga classes and they really do a great they really reach out to people when uh, when they need it now if people want to find out more or give a little more support to Gilda's Club where can they go get more info uh, they can call 312-464-9900 or go to our website www.gildasclubchicago.org.
Well, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. So, Derek, Derek, what have you been up to today? Tell us, tell us what you did today. Today? Today. <laughs> All right, got up and took a <laughs> Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Good night, Mr. Walters. Tony, can you shut up? Meow. Well, guys, 10 years. Congratulations. That, that is just amazing. I, I remember the first time that we were on your show. We were on with Ron Majors sitting in the green room, and we were watching your show for a few minutes, and we all kind of looked at each other, and Ron Majors said, I'm in the twilight of a mediocre career, but you guys are f so congratulations on 10 years of quality television. This sort of puts you uh, right up there with uh, F Troop, uh, Davy and Goliath, uh, and Maud. And uh, boy, if I, if I said any more, really, I'd, I'd start to weep. So I just want to... I can't. Can we shut this off, please? Anna DeBlantis. Melissa Foreman. Scott McKay. Marcus Riley. Romanoff Laskowski. The all-new Nude Hippo, only on NBC5.com.